What's up, guys? Sid here with another episode of Steam Cube. What is Cube? Director's Cut. Uh, basically, it's a first-person puzzler. It was developed and published by Toxic Games. Um, the Director's Cut is an updated version of the first Cube that came out in 2011. Basically, they took that first Cube and then they gave it some new achievements and leaderboards. They added some new music. They put in a story, which I'm kind of excited about because the first game kind of left you going... What the fuck is going on? Uh, there's now a time trial mode with 10 levels. When the Director's Cut first came out, it pissed off a lot of people. Because, you know... They thought it could have been a DLC. Um, and Toxic Games also... Almost pulled a beat and switch kind of deal. Where they said, hey, anybody that owns Cube... Well, you get Cube Director's Cut for 50% off if you want it. And that pissed a lot of people off. And they're like, no, fuck you, we paid for this gave us the game. In good faith, Toxic Games came through with that deal and pretty much said, okay, you own Cube, you're right, you supported us, take the director's cut. I'm glad, everybody's glad, so let's get to the game. Uh, first, we're going to go to the options. Um, there's not a whole lot, and as you can see here, you get, you know, full screen, V-Sync, your resolutions, even advanced isn't all that great. I mean, you get your basics, but nothing, you know, you can't, no sliders. I like sliders. What the hell? Depth of field. Depth of field? Okay. So we got brightness, of course. Sound. I turned it down because the chicken will start talks a lot. And, of course, your control layout. You can... Okay. Everybody sees this because the last time I played this game, it didn't like me and it, like, reset all my buttons. So we're going to, you know, go back. Go back. Go back. All right, so let's start this. There's a current game save in progress. I don't remember that. But we're going to start from the beginning anyway. So basically, this game is about you wake up with no memory inside some kind of weird alien structure. Uh, it's hurtling itself towards Earth, like cataclysmic. And Oh, here we go. See? The chick. She'll tell you. Hey, go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. Fifteen days. Shouldn't he be dead two weeks without food? All right, he's got a special spacesuit. There's been a complication. We can't link it to your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. Well, that's that nice. We don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage, especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm going to be honest with you. Mission Control are concerned you might have no idea who you are or why you're in there. See, see, there we go. True, the memory. I have some Difficult, are they? You're a long way from Earth. A very long way. So how did I get out of here? But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, is going to hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of everything. End of everything. You need to decipher and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. We all do. Um... Yeah, no, I kind of forget everything. Now listen carefully. This is important. Okay. The reason why it's me talking to you and not mission control is because you're too far out into deep space. Their signal can't reach you out there, but mine can. I'm Commander Novak. What's up, Novak? I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. I'm going to relay everything they tell me. Wow, everything looks kind of weird. This, every time I orbit around the far side of the Earth, I'll move out of radio range. When that happens, you're going to be on your own for Cool. Just stay calm and keep your head straight until I get back in the ah! There's my free care for the day. Hey, okay, this is it. I'm orbiting out of range now. I'll be back soon. Blah 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 blah. I told you. And believe it. So yeah, there you go. So uh basically I have no idea how I got here. This thing nobody knows what it is. 
or so I figure. Uh, but I've got to stop it from hurling towards Earth somehow. It kind of, well, it's not exactly, but just thinking about the whole idea. I wish they'd make a game based on the movie cube. Anybody remember that game or that movie? That movie was awesome. Canadian cinematography right there. Okay, so here's here's where the game starts, actually starts. So you have gloves. One glove does that, the other glove does that. Oh, okay. So, if you press your left button, it pulls objects. If you do the right button, it pushes them. Amazing, right? So basically you can, yeah, see? You use things to get onto other things. Or, you reveal doors. Or, you make steps. For a puzzle game, it's kind of pretty simple. And the game, I don't think is that long. Uh, I think it's only a 1.3 gigabyte download. So, I mean, meh. So, we got blue blocks. Blue blocks will let you bounce. Which is actually kind of fun. More fun than I thought it would be. Bounce. Move like this. Go like that. And then you can bounce between one, two, and three. Oh, I fell because I'm an idiot. I don't know how to jump. Whee! Oh, shit. I'm an idiot again. Oh, I... And it's cool because I like the idea that you can still bounce and do shit like that. Whee! Look at that. That's the first puzzle. Okay, so the yellow blocks. These move three at a time. So we got to figure out how to get up there. Uh, if you do that, see, see how that goes? Whatever one you focus on will be the longest one. And of course the ends always get the longer than the ones in the middle. That's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Bam. God, the uh, point of, or field of view in this kind of sucks. I'm so used to playing with such a high field of view now. Even though back in the day I didn't. I could play like this, no problem. But now it just kind of sucks. Oh, wrong button. Stick that in there, pull that out. Yeah, just pull it out. Yeah, I make a lot of weird noises when I'm playing. That's okay, right? Okay, so... Should be able to get there, and there we go. Oh, right. I don't want to do that yet. Aha! Okay, so the gameplay controls are very easy. Um, there's actually not a whole lot to the game other than trying to figure out how things work in correlation to one another. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, the controls feel pretty solid. I don't, you know, jumping around is kind of a pain in the ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't crush me. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna get up there. We'll bring this out. Oh, no, that doesn't seem right. Oh, maybe it is. Boing! Oh. Nope, that's not right. Oh. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. Everybody remember that I'm an idiot? Haha! -ha. Oops. So you push that back, you pull it back out, and bam! Look how easy that was. thing I like about this game, it looks very, very clean. Oh, story mode? So I'm on to level 2, apparently. If there's only 6 levels, this game kind of short. But they do have a time trial mode, which is kind of cool. And I haven't checked that out yet, but I guess I will. So now we had the green blocks. The green blocks you can't do anything with. Not at all. Not at all. See? Can't do nothing. They, they don't do anything. This is where these come into play. 
When you do that, it resets all the blocks on screen, allowing you to get to places that you usually couldn't get to, or creates bridges or barriers or whatever else. So, start here, start here, start here. Oops, wrong button. See, so far it's, it's pretty simplistic, it's not that complicated. I think later on the puzzles get pretty shadowy and dark. Um, I haven't quite seen those yet. I can't wait to see those actually because that would be kind of cool. So, let's see how my reaction time is. Bam! Nice, nice. Apparently I'm not a total idiot. I can play puzzle games a little bit. I'm doing better this time around too. Last time I played this game, uh, I fell quite a lot. The only thing that bugs me is there's no run key. I don't like the fact that you can't run in this game. It's kind of a pain in my ass. So, okay. Push that, push that, push that. Drop that, boom, boom, boom. Oops. Oh no, it's too short. We want that to go up there. Bouncy, bouncy. Idiot. Learn how to jump. See? They're starting to get a little bit uh, more complicated. But it's not that bad. The storyline, I guess, is few and far between. They did actually get a good um, studio to do the story. And they got some actual voice actors, which is nice. There we go. Oops, I hit the wrong button. So here comes the other part of the puzzles that are kind of fun. And I think these happen every so often. So basically what you have is a play button. The play button, it because it's green, resets everything. So it drops the ball. See? Your object is to get that ball into there, if it wasn't obvious enough. So now we have to create a course. Uh, I think it's this, and then this. All right. I forgot, this is uh, not that amusing. been a while since I've done this so bear with me while I get my bearings can I do it can I do it can I do it oh psh, idiot ha So you, you can walk through the ball, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. That's the way they want to play the game. That's the way we're going to play the game. Yeah, see, and that's where physics suck, too. There's not a whole lot of great physics in this game. It looks kind of nice because, you know, it's a plain-looking game, but at the same time, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I bet you any money. Yeah, see, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's do this. So you smack the ball, make it go down, rolls down. Boom, 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 boom. Ta da! I win! So I wonder what this structure actually is and why it was created. Maybe GLaDOS got into space. I know, you know, Portal reference. If it doesn't play War Portal, um, you should go play that game too. It's probably the best first-person puzzle I've ever played. Best 
Yeah, no, totally the best. It's, it's just, it's too much fun. Alright, so we're done stage two on stage three. And here's a new mechanic. Purple walls. Or purple arrows, sorry. Derp. Okay, so the whole objective is when you press that, see that? Yeah, it makes the room spin. So I want to do that. I believe... There we go. See, that's a pretty easy uh, thing to do. And because you got the spinning walls, it creates a new dynamic to the uh, whole puzzle experience. So I want to do this. We're going to bring this over. And I believe that should give me enough boost to get up there. See? Nothing to it. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Boom. Oh. Boom! See? Hello? What are you doing? No, 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 no! Can you hear me? Huh. No point saying that, is there? Nope. I'm in half space. I'm at the peak of my orbit again, so fingers crossed this is getting to you. I've been speaking with Mission Control. They're worried about you. Because your radio's out, we don't know if you've lost your memory or not. If you have, it could... It could be bad for the mission. Could be bad for the mission. One of the methods they used to bring back memories for amnesiac patients is to talk to them about important events in their lives. So, before you left, you wrote yourself a letter. There was a hole, too. It's a letter to you about you. God, I hate when that does that. So I think this thing is like sentient in some way. It knows where I'm going or... Okay. Well, first, I don't know. You have no children. No children. You live in Colorado Springs, but Ooh. you got married in Iceland. Nice. nice. You... And... I'm orbiting out of range. I'll read more if you're still there. Okay. Here's where they start getting a little bit more fun. Um, I don't think I've done this puzzle yet. I can't remember, though. God. But anyway, to the story part. So, the nice thing about the story is they do feed you information about your character. I just want to see if I get this right first. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just going to... So, I want to get it up there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Psh. that's what I wanted to do. So I need to get up here. God. I'm pretty sure that'll f that won't fling me up here. I'm not thinking properly, so, you know. Enjoy! There's this arrow and this arrow. Is that the only arrows in here? Okay, it is, too. I didn't think that would be the only one, but whatever. So now I can reset that. I just want to see something. That's what I thought. I keep losing focus of what I'm doing because this I get into these freaking puzzle games so much. What the hell was that? 
Nah, that's gonna be an annoying feature too, is always resetting the puzzles. Okay, that I understand. Is there something that I'm missing? Oh, idiot. Anybody that's face palming the screens right now? Um, yeah, no, I, I'm kind of not that bright some days. God, I don't think I should keep going too much further because I don't want to get too much of the game. It's only 1.3 gigabytes, so I mean, there can't be too many puzzle, much more puzzles after this. And another one of these awesome press play. And we do that, and it opens the door. Ah, uh, yeah, these puzzles suck. It just keeps going and going and going. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it up there. Um, Cube Director's Cut. It's it's not bad. It's I'd say it's worth the 10 bucks, but you can get it cheaper right now. Um, Steam price is currently 9.99. The lowest price that the Director's Cut has been so far is 4.99. I believe the regular cube's been cheaper, but don't get regular cube. Get this version. You get more stuff in it. Uh, it's been bundled once. Right now, this game is in the Scorch bundle from bundle stores for 3.99. So you buy this game plus 13 other games for four bucks. You can't beat. It's a good price. Um, I will for. Fearless Assassins members add all this information under the post for Steam Queue. Um, other than that, go ahead, get it, play it. If you like first-person puzzlers, it's probably up your alley. Alright, talk to you guys later.